Hey guys, I'm Coco. Welcome to Real World. It's time for a new series, so let's start. This one's gonna be quite a different one. So, let me tell you how it's gonna be different. Mods are pretty much the same, so that's not what is different. I only added the hygiene mod and this one. Uh, but otherwise, I'm gonna start with one proper colonist. And he's gonna be a RimWorld Magnate. He's gonna have good skills. He's gonna be, well, a dope person. Anyway, that's not important. What is important is that I wanna continue, somewhat continue, our rich playthrough that we had going for almost 50 episodes. Now, in my other colony, in my Fallout series, we're gonna have the madness right now. And this one, we're gonna take it more easy. So, what I wanna do is I'm gonna go in I'm gonna debug spawn the big AI ship that we have seen in Steve Phobos series. And then I'm gonna teleport my colony there. I'm gonna pre-build with the god mode, I'm gonna pre-build a big colony for us. For our only colonist and he's gonna have a couple droids to help him out. Then I'm gonna leave it, then I'm gonna leave it on a, a uh, Phobos Chillax, on extreme though. We're gonna leave it on that. And we're gonna try to recruit as many people as possible, try to get as rich as possible, and then I'm gonna start the ship and put it down to Hildegard Epic on Extreme, which is gonna send us a lot of big threats, and then we're gonna see the epicness unfold as we're gonna get raided every 5 seconds with a horde of, I don't know, giant, giant hordes of people. And then we're gonna see how long we can survive, if we can actually make it the 15 days. So that's the plan for now, that's the plan for now. Let me know uh, what you think about this, if you think this is gonna be good, but this is how we're gonna be play playing. This one is gonna be more chillax than the other series, but the ending should be more interesting. Doesn't matter where we start, so let's just go. Uh, I have to prepare carefully. Eh, already set up, so load preset, the glitter rope magnet. We have our buddy Bobbert, random Bob, as he is my highest patreon supporter so here you go is good at uh, like social medicine intellectual stuff not good at constructing he's gonna have his droids for uh, the menial tasks right and uh, he has his low all his whole left side is kind of crappy so he has bionic stuff on his left side because I don't know he got injured somewhere doesn't really matter as for equipment he's gonna start with four droid assembly kits uh, he has a pistol, and over here, you can see, let's say, no, not a barrel. Weapons, cost, I gave them the four <laughs> SMGs that cost, like, the least. So, they should be crappy. Anyway, uh, that's their starting position. That's how it is, that's how it's gonna work. Now, you guys tell me what you think about this. Is it gonna be cool or not? But I'm gonna go in right now, I'm gonna pre-build the whole base, and then we'll see how it works. Okay, okay, let's go in. And here is our beautiful new base. Welcome to our new colony. And also welcome to the four droids that we have out here. So we have, let's see, DC975 Talson. We have D7A FD Zeke. We have double D9 double C Astute Winter. So what is it? Double D or double C? And then we have D73 BD Leslie. And they're all pretty much pretty much the same. They're droids, and that's what they do. That's how they roll. We're gonna have Leslie as a droid that's cooking, we're gonna have Talsin as a droid that's constructing, Zeke that's growing, and then Astute Winter as a miner. And that's all. Uh, of course, Bobbert, he's still around. And this is here his bedroom. As you can see, we own this beautiful ship reactor over here now. I guess if I can, can actually claim this? No, I can't. But anyway, we're not gonna start this yet. We're not gonna actually start. My people gonna repair the broken stuff because this starts as being a bit broken. My guys over here are gonna start growing for us as well. Uh, so, over here we have a hospital. Over here we have a droid uh, factory. We have some stone cutter and sculptor tables. We have... Why are you building roof? Okay, I guess I missed some. That's fine. Tailor bench, machining table, the research bench. This is our uh, bedroom, not a bedroom. <laughs> this is the place where we cook. Yeah, electric stove and plasteel uh, butcher's table. And a redwood table, and this is gonna be our fridge over here. And this is Bobbert's area of expertise. This is where he hangs around. So, um, this is the map actually, the world map. Let it generate. It's over here. <laughs> 
it was in the exact corner we started around here somewhere it was over here and it's really really far away from basically everything so we have a lot of mountain areas over here we have a bunch of uh, this garbage boys over here they're running around yeah and what is with this water this is spawn now like the sand wasn't here before. I don't know why is it spawning over here, but I there's some dirt spawning all over this area, which is weird. But you know what? That's that's fine. Like deep ocean water and then sand. Sure, it looks terrible, but let it be. Okay, probably all of my people are idle. We have 40 degrees out here, which is not something I'm too terrible happy about. But let's see, droids. They can go minus 200 and plus 200, and then rob. Uh, not Rob, but Bob, Bobbert. I don't know why I'm saying Rob. You know, it's, it's weird. He can go to negative and positives as well. So, this thing will need to get some more um, cooling, most likely. Eventually. So, uh, this is our starting area. Now, if you get some more people, right, they're gonna have to live in uh, like more squalid areas because this is the manufacturing area and this is of course the office of our buddy Bobbert who I've never probably assigned to this properly yet yeah Bobbert you can be there those guys do not need to sleep they just need to refill over here this is now indoors in 35 degrees beautiful so if you get more people that might become a problem <laughs> might become a problem so uh, I guess we should start building our stuff right first things first let's start with a research tree uh, we just need to do everything basically and we're gonna go towards gun turret so we can actually get some protection right now as you can see protection is kind of crappy we also have the mega scraps that we need to take care of and we have a bunch of gazelles that we could hunt that's something we could do now my people do need something to work so stone gutter stable make any stone blocks right now so someone can go craft on that that someone well you guys can all craft don't you worry about it you guys are not terrible that so let's go let's do this none of them can uh, art though uh, we can also craft some more uh, droids that is something that's in our position in our ability to do you also have to admit that this door looks beautiful <laughs> it's a proper hangar door hangar door hangar door I don't know <laughs> it's not a hangar door but it's hangar door hangar door anyway uh, what we need to do is get some quarries around here I'll just do mini quarries out here like over here a mini quarry actually cancel that let's do a mini quarry that's gonna be turned around dustly so we can drop one of the little thingies over here the miscellaneous uh, we have some wood so might as well make them out of wood and build those two over here now this is the like the main beautiful part of the base everything else I do not expect to be actually be beautiful it's gonna be kind of garbage and it's gonna be less protected eventually we do want to build like a kill box over here and a kill box over here roughly because the way this map is now done people can only show up from over here and then from down here so only two directions Yeah, it's not one direction anymore it's two directions beautiful there you go Zeke can uh, work over here we probably also need a dumping stockpile and this stockpile over here is definitely gonna be too small definitely trading spot for caravans they can pop up up here that's fine Um, yeah let's get a dumping stockpile that should be fun that should be fun uh, might as well put it down here it's not a problem you guys can bring stuff over here uh, I do want one of you on crafting spinning done Beautiful, we're gonna go for more stuff. So let's say you are my main miner. Let's say uh, Leslie, who's not cooking right now, can go actually do crafting. Yeah. Leslie. Oh, Leslie actually found some plasteel for us. Very nice. Yeah, you do this, and that's gonna be fine. Bobbert again needs to sleep, apparently. That's completely fine. Uh, machining table, we can disassemble mechanoids forever. And what else can we make? Well, we can make some helmets for our people. Maybe. Torch swords. I don't know. Protective helmets, protective gear. Scrap armor. And also some gears. Thermal wrapping. I don't think that's really gonna be useful for those guys. 
Battery already broke down. Well, that's that's just beautiful. <laughs> it's just great. But Tolson's gonna fix it. Tolson's got this. There you go. And we're getting goodies over here. So, yeah. Probably a stockpile zone somewhere over here. Should be a good idea. So, might as well go with that. I'm not gonna build Plasteel anymore. Because we don't have Plasteel. We have 24, but that's... You know, the, I am just saying that this has all, all been pre-built before we came here. Like, this is what we found, this is what we appropriated, and now it's ours. And we're gonna spend our time chilling around here. But we can, uh, I don't know, build a couple of granite blocks like Dusty. Maybe. And make this like a big stockpile zone. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. There you go. And build me a roof area over this den. Something like that. Boom. And this is gonna be our, uh, you know, stockpile zone. It might not be the greatest. It's definitely not the greatest. <laughs> At least not compared to, you know, the rest of our base. But it's gonna be a stockpile zone where we can store some of them at, for some of our materials that do not fit in here. Yeah. Oh, we got some amber. This is probably gonna get, like, roasted pretty damn fast. We're gonna use up this because my people are mining so much and that's completely fine uh, We'll probably dump some of my marble over here and get some flooring We should also possibly make a an area where visitors can come in and chill so we might be able to recruit some visitors Also the food it's just gonna be for Bobbert. Those guys do not need food Like they, they only need energy and they can get energy from the ship reactors. That's all we need or, of course, from the Xenon Ion Turbine that is providing most of the stuff for us. Is this gonna flood now? What is happening over here? That soil. Like, where's the soil coming from? This is supposed to be ocean. So, it's raining and that's why the ocean is draining, huh? Wow, it's interesting. You know what? That mod, nature's pretty sweet. Makes things different. I mean, we are living... We are living out the ocean, but the ocean is when it's raining, it just stops being an ocean. Apparently. This is how it works. Well, there's still deep ocean over here. Wow. The same as here. Okay then. Well, the map just got bigger. I don't know, um, when do should we go deal with the centipedes around here in the caves? Because I do not want any of my people to wander in there and get roasted. That I'd really appreciate it, appreciate not to happen. You never know. You never know. Also, let me know if you think this is beautiful, because I think this is beautiful. Our base is pretty damn sweet. Pretty damn dope. Um I need someone to go on cleaning when they're not constructing. So uh <coughs> yeah, Tolson, my boy. Clean things up please. Do not make me home area everything that's pretty. That's really not needed. Do not make everything a home area. Whatever has been pre-built can become a home area. Whatever else does not need to be a home area. So let's do that. Yeah, just drop this. You know what? Maybe we do need a trading spot in to be in the home area, but for now let it be. The way it is. It's fine. And yes, the quarry, we do want the quarry to be in home area. I don't want it to burn if the burning shall happen. And this is our dumping stockpile. So that, I guess, can be information. Here we go. Here's our rice. We do want someone to haul, actually. Um, and that's going to be you, Zeke. Whenever you're not doing your thing, you're going to be hauling. Uh, did I sell? Uh, did I tell you to clean? No, I meant hole. I'm sorry. I meant hole. Yeah. Well, I would really appreciate if you hold food first. I don't think you should. Or hold those chunks away. That's also fine. Hold those chunks away. Do do do. Do do do. Those things are gonna. Those platforms are gonna fill up very soon. Very, very soon. I should have probably made the stockpile right next to this. It would make things easier for our Zeke. Because right now... Look at this. Zeke, did, did you notice this? Like, the rise deteriorating over here? 
Like, I understand that you want to hold us chunks, but would you... Would you find the survival mode? Oh, you're gonna hold them to the refrigerator. That's fine. Macrotronic basics is done. We're going directly for turrets. There we go. He's finally bringing in the rice. Very nice. So uh, Leslie can do some cooking. But we have to tell her to cook. So, can you do double? No. But you can do this one. So, let's make... Until we have like 10. That's completely fine. It's completely fine, Leslie. You do that. Zeke, my boy, I'm gonna hold this in. Yeah. As you can see, droids are pretty good uh, when it comes to working because they work all the freaking time. I mean, they can't do everything, but they can, they can work for a long time. I don't like that. 35 degrees in here. 20 in this one, minus 2 over here. Leslie is actually cooking. Very nice. I should have told you not to put survival meals in, survival meals in here because we would prefer those things to be in there, but nah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine and fine. So, uh, now we do we have plenty of marble and such. Let's go. Let's get some flooring. Actually, more flooring. Just do this once. Now, the thing is, the first person we do want to recruit is someone someone that can do art <laughs> we kind of want someone to make art for this area possibly now also where do we want to build a uh, place that visitors can come in and chill uh, maybe over here next to the hospital the hospital has a dope flat screen tv you can also sit over here and watch it as always i have not made the horseshoe pin which i probably should so some random people can actually play with it yeah, might as well be there. That's okay. And also, our defense is not really good right now. I mean, all we have is some of this plasteel half walls where we can hide, and that's pretty much it. We do have plasteel walls, yes, but they do burn. So, uh, yeah. So the rain has stopped, and now we have wet sand over here. It is very surprising to me. Maybe because it's, uh, like, soon gonna be summer. That the water just, I don't know, dissipated away. I, I don't know what happened. I've never seen this before. I've not used the mod too much. Talsim, please do not fail while constructing. That would really be good for you and me both. Also, mm, can I build a copy of this? No, because I have not researched it. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Lastly, making these things. Can we even make a... Yeah, we can make a dude. Sure, let's make another droid. That's fine. Gunsmithy has been done. Thank you. So, let's do two things. And then we're gonna get the turrets. Very nice. I'm hoping we can get some gold in from this area. So we can uh, make the multi-analyzer. That would be great. Although there might be some gold on the... This compacted machinery. Out there, there might be some gold. Just need to find it. I mean, we have mountains around here. I didn't want to actually play in the mountains because my previous game was kinda in the mountains and kinda in a region where there was no one else. This is the titanium, which is amazing. Uh, but this is where the thing is spawned, so what can you do, right? Go back to the machinery, petrified wood, more machinery. You know, we have steel over there. We have steel in here. Silver. Well, it's getting closer. <laughs> getting closer steel there you go we have another droid very nice very nice mr. droid we're gonna name you let's go there's gold orders vein minus beautiful that's enough gold for us actually that's gonna send you through here huh uh, you know what cancel that I don't want to make this bad boys mad so our new droid uh, let's name him. Uh, where'd you go? Droid Zero. So, Droid Zero. DD29 shall be. JP. The droid. Uh, now, I can't make him like that because he's just JP. So, he shall be DR. Excuse me. DRJP. Let's go. Welcome to the colony, DRJP. You know who you are. One of my Patreon supporters, and now you're here. You do not have a weapon. That is bad, and we shall craft one for you. So, let's make you a... 
I'm shorty. No, no, you need the. Hmm. Well, we can make a bunch of uh, the feral stuff. Possibly not. Uh, carbon jumpsuit. Wow, that's cool. What is this? Cloth and plastic. Ooh, that seems cool. We need to grow some more so we can get some cloth. Tactical vest, tactical helmet, protective gear, protective uh, compound bow, throwing axes. This is dope. Throwing axes sound like amazing. What do you need for that? 105 steel. Let's make that happen. And we're gonna put someone. You know what? Zeke Detroit? No, not you. Uh, DRJP. You can now work on the crafting duty for me. Like this. Yeah, let's do this for me. DRJP, welcome to the colony. You might not be the, the best crafter, but you're gonna craft yourself some throwing axes. Blowback operation done. Let's go. Like, Bobber should just go and ham on this. It's probably gonna get slapped in the heat, feeling bad, grimy. Oh shit, I forgot about the bathroom. Totally forgot that I added that. <laughs> Why don't you tell me so? Oh, we can build everything already, huh? The Willier forgot that he needs a bathroom and also he needs to clean up. So what we're gonna start with just this stupid wash bucket over here and a latrine pit. That's something we're gonna start with and hopefully Tossin, my boy, is gonna figure out that that's what he has to do or Leslie is gonna fail in construction. Leslie, god damn it. Yo, Tossin, Tossin, my boy, build stuff for me. You lack a range weapon. Yeah, look, you do not need to hunt, really. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna have to throw an axis, and that's all. Hey, there you go, Bobbert. Cleaning up. It might not be the best, and we have to now squat up and actually build a proper bathroom. See, I knew I forgot about something. I forgot about that, and that's bad, but we're gonna fix it. We're gonna build a kind of a bathroom down here. We have marble blocks. We can use that. So let's do that. Uh, I will want... An entrance over here, maybe. We don't even need a big one. We can just do something like this. Bulgage Trader. Caravan is approaching. They spawned over here. So I guess we lost the sea. We lost the ocean. But it's, it's fine. It's no no problem. Really. Do not see a problem with that. Throwing axes have been made. JP. Where'd you put them? DRJP. Equip poor throwing axes. Let's go. <laughs> So, uh, what is your gear like? Melee force throwing axe in the train hands. This can be devastating tool both in melee and range combat. Well, accuracy from touch is pretty dang good. It's a big range cooldown. But it does some damage in melee combat, so I guess the RJP can be our melee person. And uh, now, as for social things, we need Bobbert to actually go talk to Kennedy before he gets shot. Chocolate, sure, we can do that. There's our rice, these are components, we don't wanna hmm, sell my components. They have some gear and such, but I mean, we could spend all of our money on components. Do we want to? Not really. <coughs> Although, we could spend all of our money on components. Something like this. 516, sell one steel, let's go. Accept. Boom. Got 16 components and 5 chocolate. Let's go. That's ours now. So in here, we will need... Let's see. Hygiene. Yes. Base in white. Might as well. Plop it next to the door. And the next thing we do need is a toilet. Plop it. Well, we're gonna need probably more than one toilet. It's something that will be expected from us. Sure, let's do something like that. Sure. Yeah, sure. Maybe we can do something like this because we are cool like that. And then, and then, um, hygiene. Please stop wasting my resources. We need a bathtub. A white one, clearly. Like, sure, we can put it over here. That's fine. That is completely fine. And then, as a door over here to this area, um, well, we have some wood. We have a bunch of petrified wood. I don't think that that's like double. Yeah, it is double. Okay, fair enough. Just use the normal wood stuff. That's completely okay with me. Gunter is done. 
Let's go for more research. So what do we want next? Multi-analyzer, definitely. Go for that and then we can go for... I have no idea. Uh, automatic farming. Sure. Let's go for uh, sprinklers first then. Yeah, sure. Okay, gun turrets have been done. We're gonna need to put pull them down. Put them down somewhere. Not to actually pull them. That would be hilarious. Now, for hygiene. Totally forgot about how to do this. It's been a while. It's been a while. And probably things have changed. So... Water tower pumps and store groundwater for use by plumb fixtures. Place over areas containing groundwater or next to rivers. Cap capacity is based on the amount of water in the radius. There's a bunch of water over here on this side. And there's a bunch of water in here. Okay. There's a large one. Hmm. Well, we do want the large one, possibly. Although that one, like on the side, it's not really doing much for us. So I might as well drop one of these bad boys over here. And then one of these bad boys down here. I don't know how good that's gonna be, but it's gonna do stuff for us. We can do, like, marble plumbing. Because why not? I didn't exactly want it to put it like this, but sure. Let's get the plumbing over here. Let's get the plumbing over here. And then we need to get it in here. In here and in here. Let's go. Marble plumbing, all the way. All the way. Yeah, you should start filling up, yeah? Yeah, there you go. It's filling up. Let's go. Beautiful, beautiful. Don't fail. Hmm. A heat wave. Very nice. It's only 35 degrees out there. It's a really good time to start heat wave at the start of August. Very nice. Probably our uh, food's gonna go haywire now on us, but... We do have rice, which is not really gonna spoil. Uh, the only thing that can spoil is the simple meals. So what we should do is, like, say, hey, this refrigerator storage, go into meals, do not put packet survival meals in here. The only reason I will allow that earlier is because we only had packet survival meals, right, when we started. So that's why I did that. There you go. And yeah, because this ones do not spoil, no matter where you have them. They just deteriorate if they are left outside. So does this work now? I think it should, right? Do you have power? Excuse me, where's the other one? <laughs> what happened? What happened to this other one? Can you only have like one in a certain area? Maybe, but we definitely lost the other one. It has 400 liters. So that, that, I guess, should take us a while. Multi-analyzer done. Let's go. Do we have gold yet? We have 26 gold, which is good enough. So, uh, let's go for that multi-analyzer then. And let's multi-analyze this right here. Boom. Build me that. Now, this thing will need some flooring. And also, we'll need to be in home zone, because it's probably not yet. There you go. There you go. And as for flooring, I think we can go with more, like, marble. We have plenty. So, sure. More floors. Let's go with marble flooring like this boom okay let's go Tossin you fix that actually Tossin you fix this first that would be better if you could no you don't want to you have all the resources well Bobbert is sleeping right now so I guess that's fine 45 degrees Bobbert is not gonna be happy because he is sleeping in the heat also the serve sleep why probably someone cleaning in your room huh Maybe this has 5 degrees. Those things should never uh, go below because fridges, that's just how they work. I don't like that. Lots of you mining, huh? Already at 70%. Those things are gonna go fast. That's not a problem. I mean, we have lots of mountains. And I'm completely okay with that. I don't know when these guys are gonna attack us, but I'm also not looking forward to that. So we'll have to do some defense probably in the next episode. Would be a solid idea. Also, let's drop a... Uh, Standing lamp in here. Wouldn't be too bad of an idea, huh? If you did that, let's go. Let's go. Also, I don't want everyone looking at you when you're taking a shower. So let's do something like this. Right. Still have not done anything for uh, any visitors. Let's do that. Let's work on it. And uh, let's work on it over here. Let's say. Some resources have been wasted. Well, that's fine. Do we need it this big? No, we don't. 
We don't need it to be this big. We can make it smaller. Something like this. It's gonna be completely fine. Completely fine. Boom. Yeah. Uh, these things are gonna get destroyed. I mean, we have the plumbing, and that's all she wrote. That's all we needed. The plumbing, it's here. Also, just build me a wooden door over here. Uh, Thompson failed on some stuff. That's okay. That's okay. I do want some more growing zones. Ah, right. For that, you're going for sprinklers right now. We do want the reclaimed areas. That will be, I think, down here. Terrain rehabilitation. Go for that. So we can actually reclaim some of the areas and turn the sand into proper, proper stuff. Anyway, this is the first part of the episode. The first part of the series. Um, it's gonna be different from what I usually do. So, um, let me know what you think about it. I think that my uh, constructors cannot actually do this because their skill is not high enough. Yeah, that's a problem. It's actually a problem that we're gonna have to overcome eventually. But, it's no problem. I'm sure uh, you're gonna level up on construction, huh? Maybe? I don't know if they actually level up. If they can level up, I don't know. Can they? Eh, I think they can, yeah. We have got the automation basics. basics. Very nice. Okay. So, uh, for now, this is not gonna get built unless we get some more people. But that's okay. So yeah, um, as I said, this is a different series than uh, what I usually play. Let me know if you like it, let me know if you don't. This is gonna be here uh, until we grow up quite nicely and uh, be able to protect our base from like a million raids that are gonna come and uh, when we start this ship. So basically, whenever we get, I think there's 18 of these, right? 18 caskets, whenever we get to 18 people, that's when we start. Right? Right. Okay. For now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment below. Blah, blah. <laughs> Share, like, subscribe, and see more Dear Magic. And I'll see you next time. Go out.